connected to the old and new. Well, where's the stuff coming from then? And you know, it ain't coming out of old, it ain't coming out of new, then where's this stuff coming from? Everything that the Christians of the Bible believe, uh, the real Christians believe, then it all came out the Bible, didn't it? That's right. How many times did Jesus say, it is written, or it was fulfilled? How many times did the apostles take you back into the Old Testament? Everything was written, right, in the book, either in the old or in the new or in both. But now it's telling you here that their doctrine, it is not restricted to the old or to the New Testament. Go ahead and continue to read. It says Catholic tradition. Catholic tradition. Here we have it. Here. Is the and other different source of history, isn't it? But everything's telling you the same thing. So everybody know where this stuff came from. Ain't no great mystery. It is written everywhere you look. Go ahead and read on. Catholic tradition is the other source of the teachings of the church. The Catholic tradition is the other source of the teaching of the church. So that means that a lot of this stuff you are getting, it ain't got nothing to do with the word of God. It has to do with Catholic tradition, some stuff that they start. Go ahead and read on. As she speaks with the living voice of the mystical Christ, uh -huh. what, what she has always and everywhere taught from the beginning is the teaching of Christ. Such teaching is, is non and less divinitive, true, even if it happens not to be expressed directly and fully in the words of the Bible. Oh, they saying, you know, what we're telling you, it is right. Even though it ain't in the Bible, but it's right. Mm -hmm. but, you know, <laughs> don't believe your lying eyes or your lying ears. <laughs> Just believe what we tell you. Go ahead and read on. Okay, let me see if that helps. He said, Go ahead. A, truly, a truth which is clearly a part of Catholic tradition uh -huh. may be officially declared by the Pope or a general counsel. Oh, he can declare what truth is. Mm -hmm. yeah, he ain't got to have no Bible for it. If he says truth, it's truth. That's what he's saying here. Go ahead and read some more. To be a obligatory part of the faith mm -hmm. of all members of the church. Go ahead. Any teaching so declared is what is known as dogma uh -huh. of faith. Rather, it has rather well, it has its source in the Bible or in tradition or in both. Now, it doesn't matter. You know, they say it's truth. Whether well, it has its source in the Bible or in tradition. Let's go, uh, let's go now, uh, let's go, uh, uh, let's go to Daniel chapter 7. So Daniel wrote about the Catholic Church, Daniel chapter 7. And we're going to begin reading at verse 7. Daniel 7, and we'll pick it up at verse 7. 7 and 7. 7 <laughs> and 7. Daniel here wrote about four beasts, and the fourth one that he wrote about was the Roman Empire. Daniel chapter 7. And we began reading at verse 7. 7 and 7. 7 and 7. You know, Daniel, he first told you about the, the Babylonians, then the Medes and the Persians, then the Greeks. Then he told you about the Roman Empire. And I'm going to show you where this religion came out of, where this man of sin came out of, or he, he was even known as the Antichrist. So every time some radical over in the Middle East jump up and do something crazy, and they want to proclaim him as being the Antichrist. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to show you the Antichrist is not coming out of the Middle East. He's not coming from among the Arabs. He's coming out of the Roman Empire. Start reading at, uh, start reading at uh, Daniel 7 and 7. I had a little discussion with some people about this last week. I didn't go into a lot of detail with them because I was hoping I'd be able to talk to them again. But I want you to understand if anybody ever jump up and say, well, you know, because uh, 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 Saddam Hussein or some other radical jump up and, 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 and do something crazy, and they say, well, he is the Antichrist, I want you to understand clearly where the Antichrist is coming from. All you got to do is read them this. All conversation over. Go ahead and read. After this I saw the night vision, uh -huh. and behold, a fourth beast, dreadful and terrible. Now these uh, beasts, they represent kingdom, and this fourth one represents the Roman Empire. So out of which came the Roman Catholic Church. It ain't not just Catholic. Catholic means universal. It is the Roman Catholic Church. Go ahead, read. And strong exceedingly. Uh -huh. And it had great iron teeth. It devoured and broke in pieces. Uh -huh. And stamped the residue with the feet of it. Go ahead. And it was diverse from all the beasts that were before it. And it had ten horns. Yes, it did. Go ahead, read. I considered the horns, uh -huh. and behold, there came up among them another little horn. Now these horns, they represent government, governments, and rulers of these governments. Now there was ten horns, 
and the Sanhorn, they represented secular governments and rulers. Then there came up another little horn that was different from the ten, and the reason it is different because it represented a religious government and the head of that religious government. And we know what uh, religious government came out of the Roman Empire. And we know where it sits. It sits right in the heart of Rome that we know today as Vatican City. Go ahead, read. He said, before whom there were three of the first horns plucked up by the roots. Go ahead. And behold, in this horn were eyes like the eyes of man, uh -huh. and a mouth speaking great things. And he said, and this horn was the <laughs> eyes like the eyes of a man, and a mouth that was speaking great things. Skip down to uh, 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 verse 23 now. Well, well, no, skip down to uh, verse 13 uh, first, and I just want you to understand this little horn going to be around at the coming of the Lord. Start reading at verse 13. Go ahead, read. I saw in the night vision, uh -huh. and behold, one Wait. like... One like the Son of Man. Now, who is the Son of Man? That is Jesus, isn't it? Go ahead, read on. Came with the clouds of heaven uh -huh. and came to the Ancient of Days. Go ahead. And they brought him near before him. Go ahead. And there was given him dominion and glory and a kingdom that all peoples, nations, and languages should serve him. Uh -huh. His dominion is an everlasting dominion which shall not pass away, and his kingdom that which shall not be destroyed. And when is this kingdom going to be established? When the Lord returns. That is what time you're reading about here. Now skip down to uh, verse 23, and I'm going to just show you what this little horn was to do. Go ahead and read. Thus he said, uh -huh. the fourth beast shall be the fourth kingdom upon the earth. So, and that is wrong. Go ahead and read. We shall be diverse from all kingdoms, uh -huh. and shall devour the whole earth, and shall tread it down and break it in pieces. Go ahead and read. And the ten horns out of this kingdom are ten kings that shall arise, uh -huh. and another shall rise after them, and he shall be diverse from the first. And he shall subdue three kings. All this means something. We aren't dealing with all, all the intricates of this thing. Go ahead and read on. And he shall speak great words against the Most High. Now he said he's going to speak great words. It's that little horn now. He said he's going to speak great words against the Most High. Go ahead and read on. And shall wear out the saints of the Most High. And he's going to wear out the saints of the Most High. He started wearing them out during the Holy Inquisition. But he ain't through wearing them out yet. Because this is end time stuff right here that you are reading about. But they don't tell you about the Holy Inquisition. You want to know about the Calvary Church? Go read about the Holy Inquisition. You'll find out that they're not as pious as they try to look. Go ahead, read on. And think to change times and laws. And what else did he say he's going to do? He's going to think to change times and laws. Let's look at a couple of the things that he changed here. Let's go to uh, uh, let's go and read something here uh, 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 from an uh, uh, article that I took out of a book called Cabinet of Catholic information. We just want to read uh, what uh, right there, what's underlined in this brief subtitle there. You can read. Go ahead, read. The Sunday question. The Sunday question. And what day is Sunday? You know what day it is. The first day of the week. Go ahead and read. The divine institution of a day of rest from ordinary occupations and of religious worship. Go ahead. Transferred by the authority of the church. Wait a minute, transferred by who? Not not by the word of God, mm -hmm. but transferred by the authority of the church, it said, right? Mm -hmm. So God didn't change. So everybody want to tell you it was changed. You know, it was changed from the seventh day to the first day. Oh, God said seven, didn't it? Seven, seven, seven. Even when you got over the New Testament, seven, 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 right? Yep. And then we know it was seven in the old. But now, here come the Catholic church along, and they said, we're changing all this. Not because it is written in the word of God, but they said, we have the authority to do that. So now we're going to transfer the thing from the seventh day, uh, which is Saturday, to the first day. Go ahead and read on. Transferred by authority of the church from the Sabbath, the last day, to Sunday, the first day of the week. From the Sabbath, the last day, which is the seventh day, to Sunday, the first day of the week. Let's go and look at another account of it here. This time, uh, we are going to read from the... Uh, 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 Universal Standard Encyclopedia. So now they done changed the thing, right? Mm -hmm. But then the book told you in Daniel chapter 7 that he was going to change times and laws, didn't it? Yes, well, he changed, didn't he change it? And everybody's following. Now, hey, you know, you got a handful of people like us. When I say a handful, I mean, you know, got this handful.